what's going on everyone Don here and you're watching VR Gamer dude and today we are checking out Colossal Cave and you know I gotta say I couldn't be more excited because I am an old school gamer you guys know that I came up watching all of the beginning of PC gaming and you know the the original text-based Colossal Cave I, I played that on my IBM PC Junior so I can't wait to see how two of my heroes of that era Ken and Roberta Williams have resurrected that game and, and not only resurrected it and reimagined it they've brought it to virtual reality so all right, I'm gonna grab my Quest Pro and we're gonna check out Colossal Cave. <laughs> nice. You are standing oh, in cool. the road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. Okay, this is wow. Uh, um, it is it is a text-based adventure come to life. Uh, so uh, nice. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a narrated text-based adventure. And uh, oh wow! All right, I could totally get into this. So let's explore here. So okay, it looks like I got an eye icon. So. You are standing uh, at the end of a road okay, to a look small at things. brick building. Okay. Around you is a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. Oh man, this is taking me back. I mean, you know, like I said in the intro, I, I, I cut my teeth playing games like Zork and, uh, you know, and, and I, I, I loved the old text-based adventures so much. They were so freaking hard. And uh, to have one reimagined this way, it, it's, it's just amazing. So, all right, I know, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go. Let's uh, see if we can find some stuff to find here. The door is closed. Well, yes, I, I see that it's closed. So, okay, there we go. Let's get a hand icon going here. All right. Oh, some keys. And looks like we got a lamp and some ham. Oh, yeah. Some ham and some bread just laying around. There is food here. I'm going to. Yeah, I see that. There is food here. There is food here. I really. You're inside a building, a well house for a large spring. OK, nice. Got some buckets. Nice. Let's go ahead and get them keys. Yes. Nice. All right. Can I take this lamp? Yes, I can. There is a bottle of water here. Can I have it? Can I have it? Yes, I can. There we go. Can I have that ham? I like the ham. Obviously, you guys can tell. I need to do another fitness series. <laughs> I really do. And maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe my next video will be a fitness video. But right now, I could eat the crap out of that virtual ham. All right, let's go. So you know, even though the graphics aren't like super blistering. The scale of everything and the topography and the, the sound effects and it's all coming together to make it like a really nice and believable environment. Not hating on this at all. Got here a little clearing. Anything over here? Anything? Okay, there's our map. So, okay, so cool. Ah. Just follow the river. It's a nice sound effect. Oh, ooh, big owl. Hey, how, how many licks does it take to get to the center of Tootsie? No, all right. 
What the what? Oh, hey, bro. Uh, no, I we're we're good. You just stay right there. You don't see me. I, I'm good. You um. Hmm. A large owl seems to be watching you. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Actually, I you know I've got two eyes. Uh, that that you know. Well, I got three eyes now. So, all right. Let's get on with it. Um. Yeah. No. You just stay there. I'm gonna come check out this grate. I'm. I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. The grate is locked. Uh huh. I have a set of keys. How do I access my set of keys? You can't go through a locked steel grate. Well, maybe I can if you, you would give me where where are those keys that I got. How do I do that? The grate is locked. What the what? Oh, there we go. Bottle of set of keys. Set of keys. You have unlocked. Gotcha. The grate. Aha. The grate is unlocked. Is it? Give me the hand icon then. So controls seem a little clunky actually in certain parts like I'm I'm trying to get there we go see it took me a while to actually get the hand icon to come up so definitely something that you might want to work on um, in a patch because in a small chamber that's the only the thing so far that's kind of frustrating a low crawl <laughs> this is so cool inwards to the west okay You are in a small chamber beneath a 3x3 three three steel grate to the surface. A low crawl of a cobbles leads inwards to the west. Okay. Oh, it's getting spooky. Oh, what's that noise? this a bird cage there is a small wicker cage discarded nearby that is a small yeah, see, it's like I'm having trouble nearby. getting the the hand there we go like it, it I don't know it's not it's not very fluid you are crawling over cobbles in a low passage. I am crawling over cobbles. What is a cobbles? I have no idea what a cobbles is, but apparently I'm crawling uh, of them. All right. It's getting difficult to see in here. Yeah, it is. Can I have like a flashlight or a torch maybe? You're crawling in a low passage. Yeah, I really am. You're crawling in a low passage. It's really dark. It's like I can't even see dark. Oh, this is freaking me out. I mean, like, this is bad freaking me out. Alright. Brass lantern. Ah, oh, there's my brass lantern. Bottle of wicker cage. Brass lantern. The lantern there is now go. Ha -ha. Brass lantern. There we go. 
I got some light. Y Z Z. It says Zizzy. Zizzy. Yes, it does not say Zizzy. It's X Y Z Z. It's a code. All right. Ah. A three foot black rod with a rusty star on an end lies nearby. I have it. I'd really like it. No. A three foot black rod with a rusty star on an end lies nearby. Tires and man, what's going on here? And paint. Is there paint everywhere in this world? the code X Y Z Z Y I guess this way kind of getting turned around there we go oh oh gosh oh bats <laughs> You're in an awkward, sloping east-west canyon. Yes, I am. Oh, and it's freaking me out. It's making me, like, weak in my knees. Ah. Oh, man. Whoa. This is so cool. I mean, I'm really getting that vertigo effect. Like, I... Uh, oh, wow. Like I'm walking with my back to the wall. You're in an awkward sloping east-west canyon. Yeah, it's definitely awkward, all right, buddy. Uh, whoa, oh, it's pushing me out towards the edge. Ooh, that was, oh God. That really, really got me weak in my knees. Oh, hey, bird. Cool animation. Nice. That is so cool. Hey, birdie. A cheerful little bird is sitting here singing. Can I have him? No, no hand icon? Okay. Whoa, what's that? What's up there? What? Who's peeking? Are those eyes? I see. Oh, man, that's freaking me out. Hey, now. Beady eyes are watching you. Yeah, I can see that, and I just noticed it, and <laughs> I'm not not liking it. Okay, onward. <sighs> mm. At your feet is a small pit, breathing traces of mist, a white mist, usually water, seen from time to time in caverns. It can be found anywhere but it's frequently a sign of a deep pit leading down to water. Okay. Let's see how far down this pit goes. So, you know, I gotta say, so far I'm really, really liking this. Uh, the sound effects are spot on. The, the, the scale of everything is, is completely awesome. 
So right on for Ken and Roberta Williams. You are nailing this reimagining. So, and I got—I just got to say, I, if you guys are watching this, like probably not because I'm nobody, but uh, uh, I almost like childhood heroes. You know, I, I, I played King's Quest uh, back on my IBM PC Junior, and I—I uh, I, I can't. I'll never forget it. Um, I, I grew up playing your games, so this is amazing. Whoa! Um, hello. Ooh, what do we got here? A dwarf is hard at work in there. Yeah, I was going to say that is a dwarf. Uh-oh. I think we hit some sort of a cinematic. Yep. Cool. Uh, hey, bro. Whoa, hey, man. Where'd you go? He just, like, like, like burrowed down into the rock and... Oh, gold. There is a large, sparkling nugget of gold here. Yes, there is. Can I have it? Can I have it? Come on, you gotta give me this one. There is a there we go. Ha ha. Here. You could you could never pull it out, no matter how hard you, you could never pull it out, no matter how hard you try. Um. Well, you know that's what you're you, in a no, low room. Never mind. Veins of gold cover the walls. Looks like an old miner's helmet. It's broken and useless. That is useless right now. There's nothing to do with it here. Okay. That is useless right now. There's nothing to do with it here. You're in a low room. Okay. Veins of gold cover the walls. Okay, so I think I got everything I need from there. Ooh, that mist looks cool. And yes, it's perfect. It doesn't billboard. It doesn't do that flat 2D thing. So, all right, awesome. Okay, let's go through the portal here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. getting spooky. Those steps again. are unclimbable while carrying that heavy gold nugget. Oh, really? Well, that's a bummer, man. I'd like to keep my gold nugget. Um, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Oh, that's right. I guess I go this way. Oh! Oh, God, that scared the shit out of me. Hey, dwarf. Oh. That is a little axe here. Oh, my God, that... Do I get to use it? <laughs> Where'd the dwarf go? Okay, so, whoo. All right, that, that was a nice little jump scare. What's over here? Man, I just, I know I said it just a minute ago, but the scale of everything is, is amazing in here. Whoa. There must be a way to cross this fissure. There must be a better way. All right. Okay. You know what? No, I think this, this is probably a good place to go ahead and uh, give some final thoughts and in this video. Because I don't want to make it too long. And I mean, I, I know you could, I could explore for days in this game. So, alright, uh, final thoughts. Um, man, other than some, some little glitches with, uh, you know, the eyes shifting to the hands so I could grab things and, and you know, some clunky movement. The, the movement is really clunky. Uh, but other than that, man, I love everything about this. This, this is high, a whole, I am going to be playing the hell out of this game. So, if you want to play this game, I and I highly recommend that you do, I am going to leave links for everything you need in the description. So, head over there, grab a copy of this. You will not 
not be disappointed but for me that's gonna do it thank you so much for everything that you guys do and I will see you in the next one this is Don signing off